Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony, I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. We're getting very close to hitting 200,000 subscribers in the channel. Please and thank you. Can you help me get there? Click that subscribe button. If you're feeling extra spicy, can we get some likes on the video right now for Yudashika? Okay, this video is for Robin. This is their tier four Patreon request. I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, this is cool. So the band is live, but they're also featuring a video on stage like for the audience. But the post edit that we're getting for watching this is a mix of both. So that's that's a fun viewing experience. At least I think so. Uh, I think the best part, though, it feels like the audio is a super live mix from the uh, the board. I'm really liking the balance between the rhythm guitar and then the lead guitar line over here on the right side. Plus, you can hear the last stick click of the drummer bringing the band in. So I feel like what we're getting is pretty present. I'm just going to go back. I won't I won't interrupt it this time. I just I, li I like what's going on here. This is cool. quality of that verse is just great you're getting the left side this nice backing arpeggio some of the rhythm guitar there and beautiful voice on top but the drummer is break that ah, man the rock beat is so good the tuning of the drums is amazing the miking of the drums is amazing let's just go back like 10 seconds just appreciate the relationship between drummer and guitar and how they're supporting the vocalist there that's outstanding <laughs> That's gorgeous playing. The, man, when the bass comes in, the tone is perfect. Nice, open playing, a lot of space, a lot of little noodling from the guitarist, but not too much. Everything is still working really, really well. Okay, back a couple seconds. Keep going. I think the biggest takeaway from the little chorus right there is everything that was spacious and open in the bass plane now gets very busy, not in a bad way whatsoever. Very supportive of what's going on and obviously where the chord progression needs to go. And it does sound like a chorus. I think we just go back and appreciate the basis and what they add right there. That is great playing. <laughs> We obviously need to mention the guitars as well because they're adding quite a bit of notes that still are in line. But remember, bass is low note foundation. All chord movement comes from down there. And when it's busy, it's okay if the guitarist is busy on top of that, if it stays within, you know, layers and construction that are going to make sense, which it is extremely doing right here. So it's all good. <laughs> from the beginning. A little variation in the drummer that time. So that's something we did not get the first time through. We add a little little guitar lick underneath that, and then we get the organ lead in. I think this is great. Great writing. I'm, I mean, I, I think this is the third song from this band we've done. I'm not surprised. I've loved everything that they've done. This is pretty cool. We've got back about 10. So supportive. Then 
It's not quite that rhythm. It's close. So did you hear how the, the keyboard, the organ part was well, the organ patch and the guitarist line up right here though? It's really, really clean. time the drums are just on the money with that fill all right so that section was very similar to the first time i heard it maybe a couple little different embellishments from the bassist which doesn't surprise me at all very very consistent and being a great player remember this is all live no mistakes it sounds great back a couple seconds let's see where we go <laughs> That was really, really musical. Let's be real, though. The drummer brings us everything right there, though. We have just this little institution of syncopation that makes that groove. Sorry, it makes the groove versus the guitar part. We got to go back and appreciate that. I don't remember what it is. Oh, we're at 238. I think it was like around the 215 point. Let's just check. Listen to the hi-hat snare usage. And then coming with the kick. That's just great choices here. A couple of couple things. Here goes. One, two. great like we didn't go anywhere completely out we didn't have to get crazy we just put in little we i have no, i they sorry i don't even know why i would say we they just put in a little spice we just we just navigate the ship off course a little bit then we come right back but off course in a beautiful way off course sounds bad sorry that's the wrong we just stirred the ship a little bit different we headed to the same place we just gave a little bit more sightseeing to our guests that are on the ship we'll we'll go with that it's just great though but that's what makes music good because remember your average band wouldn't do any of the, it just wouldn't happen. You just go from point A to point B. We wouldn't get all these like little ingredients that make it better. That's good musicianship. That that's what makes bands different from each other. That's how we appreciate everyone on where they're at, the proficiency level with composition and the journey on the instrument. That's, that's what artistry is all about. A little whammy bar out of that. I like it. The cross stick sounds nice too. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, where are we segwaying? All right, before this goes on to, we're, we're only 341 out of 807, so we're going somewhere else. I uh, just got to say the cross stick on the kit was really nice. Um, also, they supported, the drum set player supported the keyboarded player in a different way than we supported the guitarist earlier. Do you remember how syncopated and funky it was? This was not a time for that. So this go click, 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 keep it nice, even tempo, pull it back. You get even more spacious and allow the piano to take us somewhere. That's really, really good writing. Okay, let's keep going. Mm. Oh. 
So I'm assuming I didn't translate the title of the song. This has to be on the video that is, I'm assuming this is the second song. It really feels that way. And this second movement that we're getting in this video, ob the obvious, I mean, nothing out of the, no, no shocking thing here, but obviously the piano is the first voice that is so, like it just takes a primary role and it's allowed to have the primary role. We didn't, we got like little hints of it. We had some organ patches in the last tune, but now we have like a proper piano patch and that sounded really good. Okay. Back a couple seconds. Let's see where we go. Cool. So similarities in composition stylings, right? We have a backing guitar on the left side. We've got a rock beat going on. And then we have some very spacious bass playing. Well, it makes sense because it's the same band, right? So we have similar stylings going on in the mind states. And like, you know, um, if it's, I'm assuming it's a second song, but if it's not, there's obviously stylistic similarities. But if it is a second song, we have similar mind states within the musicianship. Doesn't matter. Not really. We're just talking about what's going on. Back a couple seconds. Let's keep going. You got to go back and appreciate the phrasing that's going on between the big block chords and the piano. And we have a little bit of not funky, just like we have, we have some rhythm, rhythm variations there that are definitely interesting. To The drummer is really good at it. Yeah, that fill. It's it's happening quite a bit. Not in a bad way, though. It's kind of good. All right. So this piece, we're getting a lot of... A lot of anticipation hits that happened quite a few times. It definitely gives us a very different flavor, rhythmic flavor, than we had. Can you taste these? No. I don't know why. I don't know why I use adjectives like that. But just just stick with me. A lot of food examples in, in these reactions. Anyway, let's keep going. stop and i don't need to say it for you but we can talk about it you already know about the way the guitar was being used the way the drums were being used and how the basses came in we're seeing a lot of consistency in the approach to the music in both features i love it though Did you hear how that fill started in the piano but was completed by the drums? That was like 617. Let's go back at like 607. Just listen to the piano player and how the drummer brings that phrase uh, all the way around. That's, uh, that's good right <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. 
Didn't expect that to happen at all. We've had nothing that would suggest we would go there to completely just to do it right there and have some nice kind of dirty sounding chords and almost a little bit of bluesy playing. You, you know I love that. We're going to go back and appreciate that one more time. That is some great variety. I love variety. We all love variety. Here we go. Seeing some variety in the chord progression there. We're using the snare drum in a very different way than it's been used at all. And the piano sounds different. I like this. Back, yeah, most replayed. I'm not surprised. All right, here we go. We've been back a significant chunk. It's about 16 seconds. <laughs> That was the most presence we've had in the bass player. I mean, sort of. Mm, that's almost a lie. We've had a very strong bass presence previously in the past 7 minutes and 22 seconds, but that was just the most, I guess, direct presence from the bass. That's a 722. Let's go back to 712 and just check out the bass. <laughs> Musicians are such cool people. I freaking love this band. Everything we're listening to from them has been it's been a very good experience. If those if those are in fact two different songs, I don't I don't know which one I like more. I feel I don't know. The bass has got a little more love in the second one. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm gonna go with the second one. Let me know what you think. That was a lot of fun. All right. Thank you so much.